Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet a one round bow. These are really cute little embellishments. You can use them on a child's headband or barrette even. And for this project, you'll need, um, I'm gonna use some worsted weight yarn. You can use any yarn you want. If you're unsure about the hook, just um, check the yarn label for the hook recommendation. And we're also going to be using an H five millimeter crochet hook. And to finish your bow, you'll need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle for weaving the ends. So to begin, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, just wrap the yarn around your fingers and make a loop. Bring the yarn around the back like that. So it looks like a circle with a line now reach in with your crochet hook and pull up that line and it's a loop and just tighten. So to begin, we're going to chain four. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to be joining in this last chain here from our hook with a slip stitch. So insert the hook into the chain Bring up a loop and then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, just like that. Okay, so we have our ring and I like to kind of open it up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And from here on out, all the stitches will be worked into the center of this ring. So to begin, we're going to make a single crochet. To make a single crochet, insert the hook into the ring and bring up a loop yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Then we'll make a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the ring, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then we'll make a treble crochet. To make a treble crochet, wrap yarn around hook twice, insert it into the chain, or the, excuse me, the ring, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, Yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Okay, next we're going to make another double crochet. And a single crochet. Next we're going to make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch by bringing up a loop and then bringing the loop through the other loop, just like that. Then we'll work a single crochet. My yarn is a little bit splitty today. And then a double crochet. I'm just going to get a little more yarn off the yarn ball here. and a treble crochet. And a double crochet. And a single crochet. And finally a slip stitch. Okay? So our bow right now is actually upside down. So if we flip it over, it's starting to look like our other bow. So now we're gonna move on to the tails. To make the tails of the bow, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And in the second chain from the hook, this loop here doesn't count, one, two, we're going to work a single crochet. Then we're going to work a single crochet in each chain across. That's three, four, and five. That one's kind of 
tucked in there. Then we're going to work a slip stitch into the center here. Okay, next we're going to chain six to make the other tail. One, two, three, get some more yarn, four, five, and six. And we're going to do the same thing. In the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet. And then in each chain across. That last chain is kind of snugged up to the bottom here, so you have to kind of look for it. Okay, then to finish our bow, we're going to work a slip stitch to complete it. And we have our two tails like that. Then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close it and to finish it off. Okay, and then you'll take your scissors and fasten it off just like that. So we need to shape it up a little bit. These one round pieces are tiny, so you have to shape them up. So to flip it over, flip it over and then take your tail and I meant to mention this before, but as you work around, you're going to hold the tail in such a way so you can crochet it into the piece so you don't have to weave it in later. So what you're going to do is pull this really, really tight to close that hole and just trim it. And then the other tail that's remaining, you can take a tapestry needle. Oops, sometimes it gets a little frayed. You can just give it a fresh cut if that happens. And just thread your tapestry needle and flip it over to the back. And you can just run your tapestry needle around the back here to weave that end in. And I like to come back and just do another pass just to make sure everything is nice and secure and just trim that off and then you can flip it over and I like to kind of shape it up a little just give that top a little pinch and straighten everything out like that so that is the one round bow and you can make these in any yarn and any colors and um, if you want to attach it to something, you can either sew it on, or if it's a non-garment item, you could even glue it on with some fabric glue. So that is our one round bow tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.